Many parents check their children's schoolwork to make sure they're getting good grades, but how often do they check the content of those lessons? One mom says that she did, and when she did, she was shocked to learn one lesson taught to her son about who may really be to blame for 9-11. Janine Reyes reports. Janine Reyes reports. When Kara Sands posted this test on her Facebook page, it began to spread like a fire. The test covers content watched on a video in class. What bothered her most, number three on this test that asked why the U.S. may be a target for terrorism. The correct answer, decisions we made in the United States that negatively impact people elsewhere. I'm not going to justify radical terrorists right. by saying we did anything to deserve that. Over 3,000 people died. San says she contacted her son's principal and teacher, both met with her and contacted the video's distributor, Safari Montage. Representatives say they stand behind the video, but they changed the corresponding quiz. But San says this quiz opened her eyes to the content and lessons taught at the school. At the school, her biggest concern: curriculum called CISCO. This worksheet on the Bill of Rights names food and medicine as rights, not personal responsibility. Wrong he got marked wrong. Instead of that, okay, right. Because it is my, your, it is our responsibility for shelter. It is our responsibility if we can, you know, for food, for medicine. It's not the government's responsibility. I don't Flower Bluff officials say Sands is the only parent to complain about the test specifically, but her post on Facebook now has 1,662 likes. Several parents plan to meet next week, and Sand says school board members Shirley Thornton and Wade Chapman have requested the concerns be brought up in the next school board meeting March 28th. Sand says parents need to get involved. And when I teach my children that you, know, you have to work hard and you earn a living, and then they go to school and they're told something completely different, I absolutely take issue with that. Janine Reyes, Action 10 News.